Unless you're a very, very good blacksmith. Let's go Ninja Ned's world. It is the world where Ninja Ned invites his friends over for a cup of tea. And we're gonna go in. Look at that! He's showing his strength. He has one mighty caterpillar. The caterpillar of propellers. The peanut pressure prince of perseverance. That doesn't make any sense. This is where all these cutscenes are happening, except the pallet wasn't the same. That's a shield guy. He's pretty awesome. And you can go over him and, and get hit. That's, that, that's my favorite bit in the whole game right there. Think and shoot their shield. These, these are spotlights. It's it's like we have here in Canada, except ours are are orange rather than yellow, but it's basically the same thing. So yeah, they're they're propellers, but they're not. I mean, you can just kind of need to go behind the wall there and go like, whoa! And yeah, if you hit them, a, th a thing happens. This is the thing. That's a demo. It's a demo. To see what happens if you betray homeland security. A whole bunch of nothing, really. So you need to, like, sneak... I want to sneak by. I do not want to be detected by the moral right. Or you can just kind of go away and it'll go away. That, that, that's pretty much how security works in the real world. I guess an easier time would be had if I went up here. And then I went like, wow, I sure am a thing. Also, not having security around makes it a lot easier to get up there, I guess. I guess? I guess? Well, it'll make it a lot easier if I... I was using this thing here. Remember this thing? I think we saw it earlier today. Oh, well, that was stupid of me, however, because I did not continue my jump. That was a demo. See what happens? If you're confused and on fire all the time, it is not healthy to be always burning. And now I caught on at the right, wrong angle. Why cannot it not be isosceles? Why am I always jiggering up in the corner there? What the hell is going on? Seriously, this is getting stupid. Why the hell, man? Why am I having trouble going up there of all places? See? That was the easiest thing ever. It was totally worth it for the stupid heart. God, I don't have enough health as it is. What are you, blind? What are you, a block? What do I want with you? Why do you want me dead? Squishing people is impolite. Ask just about any Rolls Royce fan. Are you an American Idol? Because I don't care much for you either way. These are blocks and they shuffle around. Get squished and win a prize. The price of mercy. The prize of eternal rest. Well, at least you can be have found comfort in knowing that your life is forever forfeit. That's not much of a consolation prize. That's not where I thought I had to go. What I want to go is up there. How the hell do you do that? I don't know. You would like this. Only better. I guess I won't be going there. If you want to see what's there, go yourself. This game is a freaking Super Nintendo game. You can go like to Walmart and, and beg forgiveness to a leper and maybe it'll me let you lick his monkey. Don't lick monkey, guys. They're in zoos for a reason. They're dangerous and will probably give you fleas or leprosy or something. I don't know. Monkeys are very scary conceptually and are not afraid to harm our children's. Our babies are just too delicious. Ask just about any homicidal zombie-like thing. That was a sword! It was holographic, yet solid. I don't know how that science worked. I'm falling down this hole indiscriminately. Look at Mega Man's posture there, it's horrible. That's horrible posture and you're gonna break your neck one day. These are blocks and they fall, and I guess I'm fighting against retinal scans there in the back. I do not want to get scanned. Look at them in the screens up there, they're studying me. I am not your science experiment. I am an independent creature. Is it just me or is that Dilly in the background, that tower there? It kind of looks like it has a face. That's Robot Netty, the world's most awesome performance artist ever. Look at his face. You, s you, you can smell that he loves his job. Look at his grin, it's like, wow! I am right now feeling the utmost happiness that a human being possibly can. Regardless of the fact that he's actually a robot and he spits lasers like it was nobody's business. I'm just kind of standing up in his grill there and sometimes dodging his blast when it's... When it occurs to me that might be a good idea. But now our fun is done and we must move on forward. Oh my god, he's broken to pieces. That's disgusting. Follow a brick. Following George, following... Ah, ah, ah. Name one thing that never happened was a demo. Okay, so this is Laser Guy George Washington DC Express. And that's a blog that bore him. 
Yeah, he's bored by a block, so what can I say? And there I dodge, there I go through the door And ask permission to take my leave For doors are very scary to me That's the weapon we just got Doesn't look like anything really That's pretty awesome There's the ninja caterpillar of our dreams He appears like he was like pregnant or something And so we throw it at him and he's like Whoa! Then he loses his tail That's pretty gross That's pretty hardcore, man Also he teleports because he's a ninja Se centuries ago it was determined that caterpillars are ninja and this knowledge has now translated into great savings just 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 make sure to next time you go buy anything just about anywhere mention that little trivial fact and you'll be so surrounded by savings you're probably gonna drown i mean i didn't i think they need to make you swear an oath not to sue anyone before you have access to that information I just got myself into a lot of trouble just because that guy teleports around and also he gets hit by Silk and makes him flash. When I touch Silk I don't flash, I am feeling jealousy. I would love to flash different colors and throw shurikens, but I cannot for I am not a ninja butterfly. He's not a butterfly though, he's a centipede. That's like before. Or is it Mil Yeah, we so wait, we kill the centipede by with the weapon given to us by the butterfly. Is this a parent killing his child metaphor here? Because I don't know if I can stand behind that. That's a bit too lugubre. This is lugubre a word, I don't care. I, yeah, I, it's, it sounds like a word that was made out of wood or something. Those words, I tend to stay away. Vote metal, people! It's a much safer alternative. I'm kind of running out of time here, so let's just go ahead and say it. This is freaking Rao Cow. Join us next time, hopefully next week. When we do a bit less infanticide, hopefully. Jesus hell, we have time to see the freaking weapon? I just can't wait to see what useless thing we'll never use or gonna get! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's yellow! Well then, looks like we get Magnon Mine. I'm just ecstatic. See you guys.